In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, Direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son we may abound in good works. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah saying, get up, go to Nineveh, that great city, and proclaim to it the message that I tell you. So Jonah set out and went to Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly large city, a three days walk across. Jonah began to go into the city going a day's walk. And he cried out, Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast. And everyone, great and small, put on sackcloth. 
When God saw that they did, how they turned their evil ways, God changed his mind about his calamity that he had said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the appointed time has grown short. From now on, let even those who have wives go though they have none, and those who mourn as though they were not mourning, and those who rejoice as, they, as though they were not rejoicing, and those who buy as though they had no possessions, and those who deal with the world as though they had no dealings with it. For the present form of this world is passing by. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Come, follow me, and I will make you fishers of people. Immediately, they left their nets and followed him. 
As Jesus went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Here we are again in a virtually empty church with only our reader, sacristan, and musician. But if you see me looking out, I'm often or picturing where many of you sit and trying to join in with you in the prayer as we are not able to gather in church, and hopefully I will see some of you after Mass. Uh, I'm available every Saturday at 4.45 and every Sunday at 11.45 in the parking lot for communion. Today is the third Sunday of Ordinary Time. It is also now, by request of Pope Francis, a Sunday of the Word of God, always on now the third Sunday of the year. Of course, every Sunday is a Sunday of the Word of God, but the Holy Father wants us to really reflect on what a beautiful gift the Word of God is to us and to really resolve to try to make it even more a part of our lives, both as individuals and as families. To that end, I encourage you, dig out your family Bible or a Bible in your home, and maybe take on as a project during this year to read just one of the Gospels. It can be any one. First time I did it, it was Matthew's Gospel. That's a long time ago. It was because of the play Godspell that I had seen uh, Alive and was so taken with based on Matthew's Gospel. So I chose to read all the way through Matthew's Gospel. And I had gone, always gone to church growing up. Not just growing up, always. And so I had heard the Gospel every Sunday like everyone else. But I was struck by reading a Gospel from beginning to the end. And just several of the things that struck me. One, how often Jesus spoke of the kingdom of heaven, as he does in Matthew's gospel. Later I would realize the others, it's the kingdom of God. But in Matthew's gospel, Matthew the Jew, it's the kingdom of heaven. He's afraid, even out of respect, to say God's name directly. And secondly, how much Jesus spoke of looking towards the end times and the final judgment. So maybe it'll be Matthew's gospel. Another one is Mark's Gospel, the one that we are reading this year. It's a good place to begin. It's the shortest of the Gospels, only 16 chapters. It's the beginning Gospel that gave Matthew the idea and gave Luke the idea and gave John in later years the idea. It's the source of much of their material. They have their own memories as well that have been added. But it's a beautiful place to begin. Maybe as an individual or a family, maybe you read a bit each day, or maybe one day a week, Sunday. Maybe you say, okay, we read half of a chapter or several episodes. Most Bibles are divided not only into chapters, but episodes. And make it a project during this present year, this first year or on the, the year beginning with this first Sunday of the Word of God. Even when we're not able to be in church, and hopefully we will be very soon, we can always take courage and consolation and strength and so many other things from God's Holy Word, the Gospels and every other book in our sacred scriptures of both Old and New Testament.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And together we place all of our needs and all of our prayers before God, our Heavenly Father. For Pope Francis, who calls us to a better knowledge of the Holy Bible on this Sunday, dedicated to the Word of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Bishop Christian, his priests, and catechists, as they teach our diocesan family to make God's Word part of our daily lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all Christians, that they may bear witness together to Jesus, desire that all would abide in his love and bear much fruit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people of every nation afflicted by the pandemic, and especially for our province now under severe restrictions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the safety and health of our children and grandchildren, attending school as they trust in God's care and providence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, poor and homeless, most affected by the pandemic, and for the poorer nations who are outbid by richer nations for vaccines, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people in hospitals and long-term care, and for people shut in and lonely at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, Sonny London, Al Cormier, Marjorie Johnson, Joseph Wilson, Marguerite Gooden, Catherine Davis, and for the families in mourning who are unable to gather for funeral rites and burial, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for all of your blessings. We bring all of our needs and our prayers before you. We ask you to hear them and to answer them through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury or pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. Make me a channel of your peace. There's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, holy light. And where there's sadness, ever joy. Oh, uh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to come. Oh, 
understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It isn't pardoning that we Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, Grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty, and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness, for though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones, and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Christian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Diane Dowd and the deceased members of her family, Gerald and Aileen Melanson, Mary and Daniel McCaig, Midge Jennings, Annette Lambert, and my brother John Owen Henneberry. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O oh God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, 
who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, if you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Go in the peace of Christ.
the light of Christ has come in.